This is lesson 15 for week 8 in general mathematics. Performs the different types of operations on propositions. With learning competency, the learner performs the different types of operations on propositions. Truth values. Truth table shows all the possible truth values of a proposition. For simple proposition P, the number of possible truth values is 2. Then, the truth value is, for proposition P, is true and false. For compound proposition, suppose P and Q are propositions. The truth table is, for proposition P, which is true, then proposition Q can be true or false. So, if the proposition P is false, then the proposition Q can be true or false. Similarly, suppose P and Q are propositions. Since there are two possible outcomes which is true or false, and there are three simple propositions here which is P and P, Q, and R, so therefore, 2 cubed is equal to 8. So, in truth table, we have 8 rows. If the proposition P is true and the proposition Q is also true, so therefore R can be true or false. If P is true and for this time Q is false, so therefore R can be true or false. But if the proposition P is false, then Q are true, then therefore R can be true or false. But if P are false, then Q are also false, then therefore R can be true or false. Logical operators. For truth table is used to define the logical operators. It is used to exhibit the relationship between the truth values of its simple components and the compound proposition itself. So we have here a logical operator's negation. The negation of a proposition P is denoted by hyphen P, which is read as not P. So we have here the negation definition. It is being defined through its truth table as if the proposition P is true, so therefore not P is false. If the proposition P is false, then therefore not P is true. So that is the negation. So we have an example for negation. So we're going to state the negation of the following propositions. So the negation is 2, or the given proposition is 2 is an odd number. So what is the negation for this, or not n? So not n is 2 is not an odd number. And another an example of not n is, since 2 is an odd number, so not n is, it is not true that 2 is an odd number. Okay, so another not n. N for 2 is an odd number is, it is not the case that 2 is an odd number. Or, another negation for 2 is an odd number is, 2 is an even number. For proposition, CCNHS is the biggest high school in Kauaian City. So, what is the negation for this proposition? So, what is not N2. So that is CCNHS is not the biggest high school in Kauaian City. So that is the negation for CCNHS, the biggest high school in Kauaian City. Then next, I represents an imaginary number. So what is the negation for this? So what is not N3? So, not n is 
I does not represents an imaginary number. Another example, and four, the tinikling is the most difficult dance. So what is the negation for this or what is not and four? Not and four is the tinikling is not the most difficult dance. So that is the negation. For number five, we have and five, everyone in Visayas speaks Cebuano. So what's the negation for this or not N5? So not N5 is not everyone in Visayas speaks Cebuano. So that is for negation. So we have the common mistakes for hyphen P or not P is automatically false or it's not necessarily the complete opposite of P. So these are the common mistakes of hyphen P. For example, 4 and 6, everyone in Isabella speaks Ibnag. So what is the negation for this? Everyone in Isabella does not speak Ibnag. Or not everyone in Isabella speaks Ibnag. Everyone in Isabella does not speak Ibanag is wrong and not everyone in Isabella speaks Ibanag is correct. So therefore this is the negation for everyone in Isabella speaks Ibanag. So we have here the types of operation. In other types we have conjunction. The conjunction P and Q is denoted by P with a symbol widget and Q, which is read as P and Q. So therefore, the symbol we get here is read as N. So we have P and Q. And is defined through its table values. We have for proposition P and Q, we have P and Q. That is, if P is true and Q is true, P and Q is also true. If P is true and Q is false, so therefore P and Q is false. If P is false and Q is true, so therefore P and Q is false. If P is true and Q is if P is false and Q is false, so therefore P and Q is false. So the proposition P and Q are called conjuncts. And it is true only when both conjuncts are true. That is, if P and Q are true. Conjunction example. The conjunction P and Q is denoted by P, which had Q, which is read as P and Q. So let P and Q the following propositions. P, angels exist. And the proposition Q, angels can fly. So we're going to express the following conjunction as English sentences or in symbol as the case may be. So we have the symbol P with jet Q or P and Q. Since P angels exist and Q angels can fly, so therefore P and Q is angels exist and they can fly. Number two, P and negation Q. Since P angels exist, so what is the negation of Q which is angels can fly? So for number two, P and negation Q is angels exist but they cannot fly. For number three, so we're going to express this into symbol. So given for this time is sentence. Angels do not exist and can't fly. Angels do not exist is the negation of P. And can't fly is also the negation of Q. So therefore, in simple, this is not P and not Q. For number four, angels do not exist but they can't fly. Angels do not exist is the negation of P. They can fly. So, we use here the word but. So, in symbol, that is negation P 
and Q. Note that conjunctions do not always use the word and. Words like but, even, though, yet, and while can also be used. For example, Carlo is competitive and hardworking. Carlo is competitive but hardworking. Next, Carlo is competitive yet hardworking. And the last one is, although Carlo is competitive, he is hardworking. So therefore, we can use also the word but, yet, although, or though, while, even, aside from, in as conjunction. And while Carlos is competitive, he is hardworking. Disjunction. The disjunction of proposition P and Q is denoted by P with the symbol V, Q, which V means or. So we can read this as P or Q. So we have here the two table for disjunction. So we have P or Q. That is the proposition P and Q are called disjuncts. For this time, that is disjuncts. So the disjunction P or Q is false only if both are false. This is if P is false and Q is false. So therefore, P or Q is also false. So the disjunction proposition, P and Q is denoted by P or Q. So for example, let P and Q the following propositions. P. Vic has a date with Lisa. Q. Chanri is sleeping. R. Humor is eating. So we're going to express the following chunks as English sentences or in symbol as the case may be. Number one. P or Q. P is Vic has a date with Lisa. And Q is John is sleeping. So therefore, P or Q in sentence is Vic has a date with Lisa or John is sleeping. Number two, Q or the negation R. Q is John is sleeping and R is humor is eating. So what is the negation for humor is eating or what is not R? So therefore, for number two, Q or not R in sentence is either genre is sleeping or humor is not eating. Number three, P or Q or R. So in sentence, this is either Vic has a date with Lisa, which is for P, or genre is sleeping, which is for Q, or humor is eating, which is for R. So that is either Vic has a date with Lisa or genre is sleeping or humor is sleeping, or is eating. Okay, for number four, we had P and Q or P and R. So in sentence, either Vic has a date with Lisa and genre is sleeping or Vic has a date with Lisa and humor is Eating. Conditional. The conditional of proposition P and Q is denoted by P with the right arrow Q, which is read as if P, then Q. So right arrow is read as if P, then Q. So we have here the truth table. The table of the conditional statement is as follows. P implies Q. P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. So we have here the truth table for P implies Q. Remember that P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. The truth value is false only when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. So what we have here it is false because the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is 
false. So, only if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false, then the P implies Q is also false. Conditional example. The conditional of proposition P and Q is denoted by P implies Q if P then Q or that is P if P then Q. Consider Mark is a grade 11 student. Consider the following conditionals. For we have P1, if Mark's in grade 11, then he is a senior high school student. For P2, proposition 2, if Mark's in grade 11, then he is working as a lawyer. Then P3, if Mark has degree in computer science, then he believes in true love. We have the conditional solution. If Mark is in grade 11, is true, then he is a senior high school student, is also true. So therefore, the solution is true. Second proposition, if Mark is in grade 11, then he is working as a lawyer. lawyer. If Mark is in grade 11, is true, then he is working as a lawyer, is false. So therefore, the solution is also false. If Mark has a degree in computer science, is false, then he believes in true love is also false, so therefore the solution is true. Biconditional. The biconditional proposition P and Q is denoted by P with the right and left arrow, which is read as P if and only if Q. So this read as P if and only if Q. By conditional is defined to its table and this may be written as P if Q and Q are called the P and Q are called the components. So we have here the truth table. So this is P if Q that is the truth table is true when both components are the same. So therefore if components P is true and components Q is true so therefore p if p is q is also true so the truth table is true only when both are the same so if p is false and q is false so therefore p if q is also true because p and q is both false so we have here the biconditional solution Marks in grade 11. So for this time, we use the operation word if and only if because this is a biconditional. Mark is in grade 11 if and only if he is a senior high school student. So Mark is in grade 11 is true. He's a senior high school student. is also true. So therefore, the solution is also true. For second proposition, Mark is in grade 11 if and only if he is working as a lawyer. Mark is in grade 11 is true, but he's working as a lawyer is false, so therefore the solution is false. Third, Mark has a degree in computer science if and only if he believes in true love. So Mark has a degree in computer science is false. So if he believes in true love is either true or false. So if the answer here is true, so therefore the solution is false but if he believes in true love is false then therefore the solution is false so the solution can be false or true depends on the answer for he if he believes in true love so to summarize the logical operators are for let p and q are arbitrary propositions we have the type which is conjunction, the logical operator N, and the symbolic form is P and Q, or the widget Q, so which is read as P and Q. Then we have the disjunction, which is the logical operator is OR, the symbolic form is P, V, Q, which is read as P or Q. For type operator, which is conditional, so this is the logical operator if then the symbolic is p with the right arrow q which is read as if p then q 
by conditional if only if with symbolic form of with the left and right arrow pq this is read as p if and only if q and we have the negation logical operator operator not the symbolic form is hyphen p which is read as not p okay for example Express the following propositions in symbol. Assume that P is the antecedent and Q is the consequent. The proposition is, I will go to the party if and only if my parents will allow me to go. So what type of operation is this? So that is a biconditional. Why? Because of the word if and only ifs. So therefore, in symbol, that is P if and only if Q or we use the left and right arrow number two if one person reuses plastic containers then he or she helps lessen waste so what type of operation is this so this is a conditional why because of the word then so therefore in symbol that is P with the right arrow Q that is P then Q. Number three, if you are nor pro senior high school, then are not here. So this is a type of contrapositive because that is hyphen P, uh, if hyphen P, and then hyphen Q or not Q. Either Plato is a philosopher or Einstein is scientist. So what type of operation is this? This is a disjunction because of the word or. So therefore, in simple, that is P or Q. Then mathematics is not the most difficult subject. So this is a negation because of the word not. So therefore, in simple, that is not P. Now, for your activity, entitled it's your turn, so you're going to express the following propositions in symbol, assume that P is the antecedent and Q is the consequent. So this is from number one to five. So first you're going to identify the word used as an operation, then you're going to write that in symbol. And for activity two, you're going to complete. This is entitled complete me, you're going to construct the table Truth, construct the truth table of the different types of logical operators. That is for 1, 2, 3, and 4. And for activity 3, so that is reconstruct me, given the following propositions below, write the component proposition and construct the symbolic forms. So we have number 1 and 2. An example for this is two lines P and Q are parallel if and only if they are coplanar P and Q do not intersect. So the component proposition is P, two lines P and Q are parallel. Then C, we have P and Q are coplanar. So I, we have P and Q are intersect. So therefore, the symbolic form is we have the P and that symbol, the left and right and arrow, that is if only if, then we have C, or we have the negation I or that is P if and only if C or the negation I so before we end again let me share this according to Aristotle those who know do those that understand teach and according to Leonard Nimoy Logic is the beginning of wisdom, not the end. And according to Kat and Shaw, anger kills logical thinking, and logical thinking kills anger. And the choice is yours. So again, this is Teacher Riza. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button of subscribe below. So again, thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much.